So you guys have moved pretty quickly from you know receiving the letter to having to clear stuff well, out. I mean, were you guys having us, business last week? I mean, yeah, until when Tuesday. Yeah. But then the landlord sent us a demand letter because we told them about the the visa the visa, and they said, well, you need to be out in three days. Oh my goodness. So then we phoned them and they, we said there's no ways. Yeah. So they gave us until today. Wow. Yeah. So this, this is it, huh? Yeah. Well, this is wow. what it looks like now. I mean, so our clients have been really helpful, you know, trying to help us with what they can. But we've had to literally just, I mean, yeah, send lost, stuff back. Yeah, we've now lost this investment. Yeah, it's gone. And, and we, there's no way. Our whole can. life in South Africa, we sold up house our, our everything everything we owned to fund this mm -hmm. so that's for us it's been a massive financial loss The way the process works is you get your first year and then you, you reapply at the end of that first year. You renew. Renew, so yeah. So the, the, the yeah. second renewal is for two years. And anybody who starts a new business will know, you know, your first year is kind of finding your feet, seeing what the place is like, and then obviously starting to generate new business from there. This first year has been a challenge for us because when we came into the space, you know, we, we had to spend a lot of money, first of all, getting the space up to code, which sure. delayed the open of our business considerably and we spent a considerable amount of money trying to just get it right once we opened we had a really good um, reception from the local uh, the local athletes in the area and even just people that just wanted to join the gym just right. simply sure it's so you, so you guys were doing well yeah it's staying it's above ground starting and, to gain traction yeah. yeah and we were offering different aspects of you know the kinds of stuff that i have skill with as well you know from my my background in the industry and you know at that point as well, Candice was also thinking, you know, well, if we get to stay, let, let me kind of research a little bit more about how I can actually utilize my skill in this country, because she's a doctor in, in South Africa, and, you know, she's, she wanted to move into teaching and offering, you know, that sort of aspect into the, the dental industry in this country. Sure. So that's what she was doing, you know, looking into that sort of thing as well. And her response from schools has been favorable. Sure. They, they want to they wanna utilize her credentials and her skill and ability. When, when we got married, we, so we talked about it for a while, and when the climate in our country was going a bit south, you know, we, we decided for, for Sarah and for our daughter, we were like, you know, a better life in a place that is, as far as I felt, was just the most, the most perfect place to be, you know, both educational, health-wise, everything-wise, we thought Colorado. So Candace came out here, she had a look at the place, and she totally agreed. She didn't want to come home. <laughs> was, this, was that your first time out here? Fell in love with it pretty quick? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I said to her, I said, wait until you meet the people and you'll start understanding why I have this attraction to Colorado, just to the US. Because in, you must understand, when, 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 we, when I was working in South Africa before, I was, a, I was a game ranger for a while as well, so I got to deal with a lot of different international flavors. Sure. And the, 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 the big thing is, is when you come to America and you meet the people here, that was what we fell in love with. You know? and, and she did, so did I. I mean, we, that's why we stay. Mm -hmm. We want to stay. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. You know, Denver was a very different climate to here, Longmont. I mean, as we came out into the so-called farmlands, you, you <laughs> see even a nicer side of people. You know, everybody wants to help. And we've had people just coming out of the woodworks going, what? I can't believe this. Yeah. I mean, they're all sharing the same feeling. Yeah, 